Hello, welcome back to the desert. It's very hot out here, but today we upgrade our lives. It must be the best. We went from living in a literal rock shack we just found, then we built this noble structure, and the last time we built this sprawling compound to accommodate all of our future needs. I like RimWorld. I like it when my colonists slowly make progress on research. I like it when the plants grow. I like it when the camels come in from a long day of grazing. And more than anything, I enjoy progress. Today, we endeavor a few life hacks. We've constructed some defensive structures on each side of the compound. To deprive our opponents of cover, we're going to haul in the rocks from nearby so that they can't use them as they attack us. We'll take these rocks and make them into more fortifications to defend ourselves and bolster our lines. Our colonists began subsisting on rice. It's fast growing, but it doesn't yield much in the desert. We moved on to potatoes, yes, bountiful potatoes, because they grow well in the poor soil oil out here, but today I'm paving the way for a new project. Not only will we be walking faster, but we'll also be adding hydroponics basins. That way we can do our farming right out in the middle of our colony. I like that. 91, 83, 70, and 39 degrees. That's all the layers of temperature we're going through here. Adding in more and more airlocks will eventually make it so that the fridge is, well, frozen. So when we roof in this section, we should start to see lower fridge temperatures. We'll also do this, and this, and this. We'll need a battery room. These things are liable to blow at any time, and it's safest to keep stone between them. A raid. But it's only tribals. And it looks like these visitors will just have to fight them. Goodbye, visitors. Hello, spam. Man, we are really, really good. Good. I love it when things are set up well. All right, here come the rest with their clubs and knives. Goodbye, Barnada. Goodbye. All right, the rest are pretty much just target practice from here. And this guy, Luche? I think it's Luche. He looks pretty decent. We'll take him. He's a fighter. Just born at the wrong time. After all, last time we had sketched out this one area as jail. <laughs> but now I think I'm going to make an amendment. I'm going to keep them under a mountain. The main reason for this is that I want to work under the mountain. But if we ever meet an infestation, I want them to fight prisoners instead of us. Because we're more important. Don't question it. He's going under the mountain, whether you like it or not. The jail will be here. And Ibrahim has tended to him wonderfully. Great job, Ibrahim. Okay, it's with great pleasure that I inform you that our fridge is now actually working. Wow, amazing. Amazing. It feels good to be the best. Okay, okay, it must be the best. We undertake the hydroponics construction. These things are great for several reasons. Yes, they're mainly known for indoor farming, but also, did you know, they are better. We're entering the psychoid industry and several other illicit industries, uh, uh, if I can help it. You know, I've never grown strawberries ever in RimWorld. I don't think there's any point to them, but I'm gonna grow some just to spite people. I'll have my strawberries and I'll like them. Well, metal's being smelted, prisoners are being recruited, and we're actually having two people research while the rest of the colony is being carried out very efficiently. I've gotta say, having just come from the Arctic playthrough, everything else feels like easy mode. For the first time in over 500 hours, I actually feel like I know what I'm doing. Therefore, it's time to carry out ill will and malfeasance against natural creatures. For? Well, capital appreciation. I guess the next item on my agenda is more bedrooms. And stockpile zones that just make a little bit more sense visually. A raid. This is a big one. Somebody might die. But fortunately, they're exactly where I wanted them. All right. Well, we didn't have armor, but here's hoping for the best. They're attacking right away. Grenades, firearms, yep, this is ugly. Okay, my people, prepare for the worst. Oh god, they're going in the way I didn't plan for. Well... No, they won't get in there. Actually, this might be good. It's a distraction from their raid. I don't think we can do much here besides watch and pray. Ibrahim was shot in the left arm, but we took down one of them, too. And the rest are stupidly going in through the hole. Right, Ibrahim rest. Zulu tend to him, everyone else go after the raiders. I don't really know what they're after, but I guess they just wanted to destroy our bedrooms. Tempurpedic we have. Tempurpedic. Okay, we've done well. Normally I'd jump right to put out the fires, but some of these colonists look pretty good and I want to down them. In particular, Parks looks really good. She's going down. We shoot you because we care. We really care a lot. Oh no, Nelson is still pretty good. I'll take him. Yep, everything I touch dies. Oh well, so much for that. Another guy literally named Savage. All these people named Savage. Well, Ibrahim will recover just fine. And ultimately, our colony has grown much more for it all. My colonists have decided to have a party in the middle of the desert, which reminds me I need to do this. 
Good. 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 The time has come to sell, to finish the carpet, and to recruit Luce. Or, or Luch? Or Luchi? Or Loach? Whatever, he's ours now. Get yourself a duster and become one of us. <laughs> One of us. All right, what are, you aren't very good at anything in particular. I think I'm going to have him be the warden and animal keeper. And when he's done with that, he'll just do hauling and... We really need a cleaner. So I do think that that's priority one. Clean... Cleaning, hunting, he'll be good at. Cleaning, hunting, and wardening. Yeah, not really much else that he's good at. Oh god. That's an amazing meteor. Compacted plasteel. We've had san nothing but sandstone till now. Oh, this is wonderful. A permanent cleaner, I've wanted one. Until we can get, uh, you know, manufactured floors everywhere. We will need someone to do this. It's, uh, really just more something that drives me crazy to see. But it's really nice when you've got one. I'm trying to remember now how, like, tracing back all of the blood trails. I think it's mostly from being shot and then having people run inside. But who can really tell? Oh yeah, clean that rock rubble. Do it, I like that. Mine out that compacted machinery. Well, I have some good news. Our colony is entering a new golden age. No one's had a mood break in about three seasons. Everything's stabilized and now we can focus on actually defending our colonists. Armoring them up and uh, upgrading their shooting. Other stats that are really just gonna help prepare us more for late game. Everything is good. What I'm trying to say is that in and of itself our colony is self-sustaining. Like if we were to just leave it here and let nature go, assuming there weren't any raids or anything, we'd be fine. What we just have to manage now are like the raids. Raids and extra bad things that happen. Outlier events. In keeping with which, we need more advanced technology. We'll have to mine out the last of these components. If there's no more on this map, we'll need to trade for more, because they're really the main bottleneck for larger colonies. Ah, trade ship. Exactly what we needed. 30 components. Oh, we're saved. We're saved. I'd give all the rest. Yes, this is a great deal. 30 components and 32 gold. That's all we need to enter the age of Aquarius. This place is even nicer than it was when we started. Money, power, and world domination. These two can be yours with the obtainment of knowledge. We enter what I think of as mid-game Rimworld. When you feel like you get it and then Randy sends a drop pod. Yet you're still not technologically advanced enough to defend yourself. And so you rely on... I'm just gonna do what any reasonable human being would do and create fallback traps for us inside of each of our breach areas. Don't question it, it's a good strategy. Bad people come in, we stay safe. Everything works out, you see? There we go, that's the use for all of the wood we now have. We've murdered most of the saguaro cacti. Now it's time to get in touch with our inner Jesse Pinkman and plant more hydroponics basins. Ooh, a fight! 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 Fight, 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 fight. Oh, did anyone get really badly hurt? No really bad hurts, good, it was a good fight. Care for each other now. Okay, psychic ship. All right, this is what we've been waiting for. Oh, all right, a bunch of scissor, deadly scissors. Okay, important mom has given birth. Uh, another male. We didn't need this. Oedipus. Well, it's time for an upgrade. We haven't used much limestone, so I think I'll start to make furniture out of this stuff. It'll make everyone happier in general, and happiness is good. All right, the psychic drone is slowly turning our brains to jelly, but I'm okay with that. I think I'm just going to live with the consequences uh, for a while, and then, um, you know, order the creation of just a lot of smoke leaf joints until we get our way out of this. You won't get addicted to them, I hope. Ah, uh, there they are. Important mom, fortunate son, and Oedipus. Uh, look at little Eddie cuddling up next to Fortunate Son. He's off for the day. He's got a lot to do. All right. We knew it would end like this. Everybody's in cowboy hats and dusters with smoke leaf. It was only a matter of time. At least now we can afford to make these helmets. Their helmets don't question it. I know they don't look like them, but eventually they'll look like them. Yeah, there it is. You know what? This quest just might be crazy enough to attract me. 80-year-old message carrier named Rodriguez is calling from nearby, offers to join, and is being chased by a pack of 16 manhunting panthers. I- I just have so many questions. Alright, this party will distract us from the mind-numbing drone. Everyone's- everyone liked that. 
Yeah, very impressive. Okay, and it's a bulk goods trader. This looks like the perfect opportunity to, um, play these scythers off of them and then run them into the trader. Okay, Jeek is a g uh, jogger, so we're just going to run him over there and shoot at them. A great distraction, I might add. Okay, we'll see how many of them we can anger. We, oh, we got all of them. Oh, great, they're right out front. R right in front of our base. Okay, everyone's drafted. We'll just get them one at a time. One at a time. Uh, oh, why would you? Man, these people are more deadly to us than they are to the... Look at the horses getting in there, too. Jeez. Come on, let's go bring over the rest. When you said trade, did you mean trade your lives? Now, these people really are, uh... I don't know to what extent we can even help these people anymore. Well, it's a spectacle, and that's what matters. They're using bows and arrows to take out these ancient machines. Just awesome. So awesome. Come on, Ibrahim. Great job, tribals. Well, that's the end of that. Right when their drone was about to hit high, it looks like we've taken it down, and that's components, steel, advanced components, and plasteel. Nice, nice. And all of that's... Oh my god. Is this all of the trader's goods that fell on the floor, too? <laughs> that's, yep, that's over 1,100 silver on the ground. Oh, that's amazing. Absolutely awesome. Awesome. All right, well, we're wiping away the drear from our bedrooms next. And this looks actually habitable now. Slightly impressive. Ah, the ultimate technology. Uh, this is how we make money. Totally legitimate. But now the bedrooms are pretty much done. They look good. And now the last consideration really just becomes components and componentage. You see, we've exhausted most of the visible ones on this map. And I think this is the last one. So now it just becomes a matter of getting money so that we could buy more from other people. There's still a lot we need components for, but we just don't have them around. Time to research some refining. Just good old normal refinement. Nothing to see here. And a raid. Oh, I love a good raid by some tribals. Some tribals! Nothing I enjoy more. All right, I think I will thoroughly and thoroughly sup of this victory. We've really given them too much cover opportunity, but, you know, we'll back out of this one and confront them where it's more opportune. Oh, and how opportune it is. As long as we just stack up like this, uh, you move back a bit. Well, we need to figure that one out, but overall, that was pretty good. My god, Zulu really has come a long way. I haven't even checked on him in years. That's what happens when you just let someone grind at a desk for... All right, we're selling Fortunate Son because we don't need him. Now I think we'll add another wing to our stockpile zone. We need it. Now this place is just looking really nice. I guess the last thing we really need now is just... Like, what if, what if a bunch of centipedes just landed right in the middle of the base? I just tried to walk through what could happen, what will probably happen eventually. Everybody needs to be armed with, like, heavy SMGs and armor right now. So I'm gonna place a premium on this. I'm gonna have Sparagais start constructing some heavy SMGs right now. They cost a lot in components, but we'll get them even before we start fabricating components, because it's just... It's urgent. But otherwise, everything is going along quite swimmingly. I'd like another colonist to do hauling and another one to do cleaning. We've kind of had to tiptoe around between those two duties. But at this point in time, it's just a matter of raising efficiency. There's not really any mood breaks left. I'd like to pave the rest of the ground and start to get rid of my reliance upon uh, poor soil entirely and just move over to hydroponics. But again, we just need more steel components and fabrication. And Wowzers, more components. Well, we finish, and what quality? Nor normal quality. Gr amazing. Amazingly normal. Oh, mad boomalopes. But we have three traders here at once. Okay. Entertainment. Entertainment. I mean, it'll be a lot of damage to clean up, but I don't think we even need to participate in this at all. Oh, man, right over all of my wooden traps. Awesome. Oh, wow, that was expensive. That was really expensive. This should be interesting. Uh, yep, that's not a great idea. All right here comes, here comes the cavalry. Uh, it ended okay. And it looks like we're going to save the life of one of their people who fell. This will improve relations too with Haba. Oh, Spurgeist guys created a masterwork SMG. Very worth it. Jeek deserves it. Well, it may not seem like a lot of physical changes. We've actually made ourselves a lot more well defended now. With everyone armed with a heavy SMG, we're, we have decent lanes from which to fire. And we're also taking out more cover. You might see there in the northeast. We're starting to mine out any of the rocks by our defensive positions. So basically, we're as defended as can be. There's still a little bit more advancement to go, but it's turning out quite nicely. We're well defended from any heat waves. We have plenty of plants growing efficiently. I like 
like this place. It's very nice. Very nice, isn't it? It is. Don't question it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed. There's a couple little things we could fix up, but I think for the most part, I'm happy here. And that's good enough. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed. As always, I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. A major thanks to my patrons. I really appreciate the support. And thanks to viewers like you. Goodbye now.